hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Arsalan and today we will be solving a new read code question that is day of the year so we will be solving this question with the help of python and the question is given a string date representing a georgian calendar date formatted as yyyymddd written the day number of the year so we have to return it in the year month and date format the uh, sorry the date format is given in the year month and date format and we have to return the number of days in that um, year okay so as the example here given is in a string form that 2019 is it given that nine days are there so we can calculate it from that it's first month and it's january so it's 09 obviously okay similarly if we talk about here the there are 20, 21 days in January and plus 10, 10 days will give us 41 days. So uh, there is have the, given the constant that length is 10 and the calendar should lie between the, this range. So January 1st, 1900 and December 31, 2019. So these are the conditions they have mentioned us here. And so uh, what's the idea here is to just look for these dates and then we have to calculate the number of days okay so let's start coding it so just before starting coding guys please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button so that you can get the recent updates from the channel and now start writing the code so if there is a trick is here here is that first of all we have to check for a leap year leap year what is a leap year leap year is the year where there are 365 366 days so check for check for in leap year okay so for what that what i will be doing here i will creating a function in which i will be saying def is uh, leap year in which i will be taking year as an int year int okay and then that condition uh, that will be our boolean means it will return us a true or false value so return when the there are uh, when there is a uh, leap year i am writing the condition that when year mod 4 give us the remainder 0 and year mod 100 also give us the uh, sorry uh, air mod 100 does not give us the uh, remainder is equals to zero so here are two, two conditions which we will be seeing here and one more condition uh, that we will be uh, looking for that or air mod 400 is equals to zero so these are the if this these are the condition are true then we will be getting a true value otherwise a false value so if it is a true value then there are 365 days if it is a false value there are then there are 365 days so true six when it is true true 366 days in a year and and if it is false false it would be 365 days so this is the condition that we will be looking for so i hope you have got an idea here so let me explain it to you this thing here so i am saying here the condition are that air should be divided air mod should be equal to uh, air mod 4 should be equal to 0 and air mod uh, 100 should not be equal to 0 okay so this is the condition for finding the uh, this is the logic for finding the leap year and there is one more condition that if year divided by 400 is equal to 0 then also the condition is true then if it is a loop leap year then write a code here first of all what i will be doing and now i will be uh, uh, and now i will be what what i will be doing here i will be uh, slicing this uh, a string here so that i can get yyymmdd so for that 
I said I will be saying that here is equals to int let uh, date and index from 0 to 4 okay so see from 0 to 4 we have got here so indexing will give us 2019 example number first and int will give us the integer value so that's why we have written int here so now our month is equals to int and date so now what we'll be choosing here 0 1 2 3 4 5 so from 5 to 7 we will be choosing 0 to sorry 5 to 7 and it's month actually m o n t h and then i will be saying day is equals to int day now what 8 starting from 8 let's count it from here it's 7 from here 7 sorry uh, it's 6 here 6 then 7 then 8 so from 8 to the string length of a string we are saying that it is a day okay now we will be writing one uh, one array here where which says the days which counts it is actually so we will be saying 31 because January has 31 days and then 29 if 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 leap year uh, sorry if is leap year year means that if it is a leap year then we have write the condition here it is a year if it is, uh, means taking this value in here and saying that if it, that it, if it is a leap year then uh, give us 29 days else 28 okay so now 31 28 31 then again 30 and then again 31 then again um, what january february uh, march april may june june and then july has again 31 days and august again has 31 days and 31 31 and then 30 july august september and then october has 31 october november has 30 and then again 31 days so let me count it again january has 31 february has 29 or 18 or 28 29 or 28 then march has 31 and uh, april has 30 uh, april then may has 31 june has again 30 and then july has 31 and august has 31 august september is 30 then 31 30 31 so, okay so we have got the array here now let's count these values and now let's count these values which will return return sum of what sum of days in uh, means we are slicing it again from month minus one so why we have chosen minus one because uh, if it uh, if you check the uh, indexing it's it start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so there are 12 months actually but we have got 11 11 numbers so we will be saying that uh, it should start from 0 actually so if you see here if we divide uh, my minus 1 minus 1 it will give us 0 uh, but however uh, we have uh, 1 here but we will be saying it uh, zero so because there are the, the indexing start from zero so i hope you have got my point and then last thing we will be saying is plus d so let's run the code now see that our code has been uh, it's been working here now try for multiple test cases and run the code now Okay, so our code has been running successfully. I hope you have understood the concept guys. Hope you have liked the video. 
if you have liked the video please comment in the comment section that you have liked the video and if you haven't understood the concept please ask in the comment section that which part you haven't, you haven't understood and what are the doubts you have thank you guys for watching the video see you next time